If you ever wondered what foods could truly stand the test of time, not just for years, but for generations, you're in for a fascinating journey. Before MREs, before freeze-dried rations, and long before expiration dates, there were three legendary staples that fed explorers, soldiers, and survivors across centuries. Pemmican, hardtack, and condensed milk. These weren't just emergency foods. They were the backbone of survival during wars, sea voyages, and frontier expeditions. Each one was engineered through trial, necessity, and human ingenuity. And they still work today. If you care about food resilience, wartime ingenuity, or old-world survival methods, stay with me, because what we're about to uncover isn't nostalgia. It's timeless knowledge you can use right now. Pemmican was, honestly, the ultimate energy bar, centuries before the term even existed. It didn't come from a lab or a ration factory. It came from the ingenuity of indigenous peoples of North America. Long before, you know, refrigeration, they discovered that when lean meat was dried, pulverized, and mixed with rendered fat, it created a food so nutrient-dense and stable it could last for years. Later on, fur traders, Arctic explorers, and soldiers adopted it as the ultimate endurance ration. It contained everything the body needed. Protein for strength, fat for energy, and a truly remarkable ability to resist spoilage. So, the secret lies in balance. When the meat is completely dried and ground into a fine powder, every drop of water that bacteria rely on is gone. Then, when it's sealed in pure fat, oxygen and moisture, the two enemies of preservation, are completely cut off. In some cases, berries like choke cherries or cranberries were added for flavor and vitamin content, but even without them, Pemmican could outlast mold, heat, and freezing alike. You can make your own version today using lean beef or venison. Slice it thin, dry it until it snaps, then grind it into powder. Melt rendered fat, beef tallow, or sweat, and mix it in roughly a one-to-one -one ratio by weight. Press it into small pouches or tins and store it cool and dry. Properly sealed, it can last for decades. Modern survivalists have rediscovered pemmican, not because it's, you know, romantic or primitive, but because it works. It's compact, non-perishable, and honestly, it packs more calories per gram than most modern rations. It's the kind of food that could just sit in a forgotten cache and still somehow sustain someone in an emergency years later. Hardtack was the soldier's bread that conquered oceans and outlasted empires. If pemmican was pure energy, hardtack was endurance in edible form. The earliest records of hardtack go back to ancient Egypt, but it was during the Age of Sail, and through both world wars, that it earned its legend. Sailors, pioneers, and soldiers carried it because it never spoiled, as long as it stayed dry. Hardtack was simply flour, water, and salt baked into a dense, rock-hard biscuit. Dehydration was the key. By baking out every trace of moisture, it created a food that couldn't rot, mold, or ferment. During the United States Civil War, soldiers actually joked that hardtack could stop a bullet. 
Some even carved it into picture frames or dice when it was, you know, just too tough to eat. But when softened in coffee, soup or stew, it became a sustaining meal that kept men alive through blockades and battlefields alike. Archaeologists have even found pieces of Civil War-era hardtack still intact and, well, technically edible. For anyone interested in preparedness today, hardtack is worth mastering. So you mix flour, salt, and just enough water to make a stiff dough. Then you roll it flat, poke holes in it, and bake it low and slow until it's completely dry. Let it cool, then store it in airtight tins or vacuum-sealed bags. It can last for decades. To eat, you soak it in broth, fry it in fat, or, well, crumble it into soup. It's not exactly gourmet, but when you're cold, hungry, and far from a store, it's survival bread at its finest. In the mid-nineteenth century, Gail Borden solved one of humanity's oldest problems, how to make milk last without refrigeration. By gently heating milk to remove most of the water and sealing it in airtight tins with a bit of added sugar, he created sweetened condensed milk a product that honestly transform military rations and civilian diets alike. During the American Civil War and both World Wars, condensed milk was, you know, a real game-changer. Soldiers could carry it across jungles or deserts without spoilage, mix it with water for a drink, or stir it into porridge and coffee. It provided calories, protein, calcium, and sugar in one compact package. The magic behind its longevity is, well, twofold low water content and high sugar concentration. The thick syrup creates an environment where microbes simply can't survive. Unopened cans have been found, you know, decades old, that remain safe to consume. Even today, it's still one of the few canned foods with a shelf life measured in decades rather than years. You can use the same principle at home. Just simmer milk gently with sugar until it thickens and reduces by about half, then store it in sterilized jars. If you seal it properly and keep it in a cool, dark place, it can last for years. For preppers or off-grid homesteaders, condensed milk, well, it remains one of the best ways to preserve dairy nutrients without relying on electricity or modern packaging. Ah, these three foods endure because they obey the oldest rule in preservation. Control water, fat, and air. You see, what ties pemmican, hardtack, and condensed milk together isn't just history. It's chemistry. Each of these remarkable foods removes or stabilizes water, isolates oxygen, and blocks microbial growth. Pemmican, for instance, seals nutrients in fat. Hardtack, on the other hand, locks out moisture through total dryness. And then there's condensed milk, which binds water with sugar. These principles are as effective now as they were centuries ago. For anyone considering building a long-term food reserve, these ancient solutions can outlast even commercial freeze-dried goods if properly stored. Quite fascinating, isn't it? You can store pemmican in metal tins, hardtack in sealed jars, and condensed milk in unopened cans or sterilized containers. 
Together, they form a survival trinity that covers fats, carbs, and proteins. No refrigeration required. Wars, famines, and expeditions all tested the limits of human endurance, and these foods passed every test. They remind us that true preparedness isn't about gadgets or freeze-dried pouches. It's about understanding the fundamentals of how food decays and how to stop it. Learning to make and store these three foods is, well, a bit like inheriting a piece of old-world science. Reliable, portable, and honestly, battle-proven. If you ever find yourself building an emergency cache, heading off-grid, or just wanting to reconnect with the practical wisdom of history, you should really start with these three. They don't need any fancy packaging, electricity or modern preservatives, just knowledge and patience. That's, frankly, what kept explorers alive on frozen tundra and soldiers alive in the trenches. If this kind of historical resilience fascinates you and you want to see more forgotten techniques that still work today, well, make sure to subscribe to Backyard Wisdom. Share this with a fellow history enthusiast or prepper and help keep these timeless methods alive. Because history's best survival lessons were written in hunger, sweat and endurance. And they still, truly, have a place in our world today.